It was just a normal day. My day went like any other. I ate breakfast, went to work, did everything normally. However, as I went to sleep that day, something would happen. I would wake up in a new body. As I was shocked, I saw my hand was completely white, like Frieza's hand. As I looked around, I saw Zarbon the Doria as I was sitting on a chair that was floating. They both said, are you okay, Lord? You look worried. Lord, I quickly ran around the spaceship to see any mirror or anything. I ran into a mirror as I saw my face. I couldn't believe it. I was Frieza. I, I just couldn't even talk. Zarma Dodori looked at me, worried. Frieza's never done this before. Just run out like that? I looked at them and said, oh, I'm fine, uh, subordinates. Not really knowing what to say. Then I realized something. How late in the series am I? Are we going to Namek? Was this when Vegeta was a kid? How late in the series is this? I would then ask a status report on Vegeta and Nappa. Vegeta and Nappa, oh yes. It seems that they have betrayed you, Lord. I've gone off straight to Earth without telling you. So I would realize that's how late in the series I am in. I could go to Namek, but let's do something unique. After all... Vegeta will go straight to Namek if I go to Namek. Maybe I should keep the timeline the same, but if I do that, then I'm gonna die, so I probably shouldn't do that. I really didn't know what to do. All I could do was think, as Armin Adoria says, My lord, what are you thinking about? Nothing. Adoria would say, you know, with the Dragon Balls on Earth, there would be Dragon Balls on Namek, and we could easily get them, since a Namekian was on Earth the whole time. I thought, interesting, I'll keep that in mind. Should we send the troops there? No, not yet. I would go off and begin to train, but I hated it. In real life, I didn't mind doing exercise or anything like that, but for some reason, my body just hated training. It despised it, but I had to do it. I had to make sure I was strong enough, strong enough to beat back a Super Saiyan if I had to. I could use the Dragon Balls on Namek to wish back my old life, but... Would I even want that? Did anyone really care about me back then? And I get to fly and rule a universe. Why would I ever do that? In this body, it was affecting me. I can feel my emotions changing. It was, it was getting harder and harder to care about anyone. I still cared about Vegeta and everyone I had attachments to from watching the show, but it got harder and harder to. And my infancy was shrinking. I was becoming more sadistic every second I was in this body. I sighed. I could do nothing but let his sadistic side wash over me as I trained. I trained only for an hour that day. I couldn't train any more than that. An hour a day should be fine with my potential anyway. I sighed as I continued to walk around the ship, planning out my next move. Things should play out normally in canon on Earth, so should I go to Namek or should I not? Maybe I could, what would I even wish for? There was so many questions drilling inside my head. I really didn't know what to do. But I decided I would train for a while, then I would go off to Namek. Just to see how things would go. But then I got a better idea. I knew that Vegeta was going to come back from Earth, so why don't I give him an opportunity when he does? Maybe this way he won't leave. Maybe this way he'll start to respect me. I asked him what's the previous plan I just conquered because, well, I remembered in the series, Vegeta mentioned that it was the planet that I just took over. Zarmid and Doria told me as I decided to stay there and wait for him. Eventually, Vegeta's space pod would arrive, and as he healed and got out, he saw me. Vegeta looked at me in terror, but then I said, don't worry, I have a proposition for you, Vegeta. An interesting one. I think I've seen your potential now. And it's above anything I've ever experienced before. Vegeta looked confused. What are you talking about? Oh, Vegeta. I want you to become my right-hand man. I will train you. And I'll even let you kill Zarbon and Dodoria. And I'll train with you. But first, let's get to Namek and give you some immortality. But I think you can ha handle Dodoria after your big injury. You get stronger each time you heal, right? Vegeta was shocked. He didn't expect me to give him such an offer. But Vegeta figured he could probably get immortality and kill me. But I'll just keep training. And since my 
potential so great, you won't be able to kill me, not even with immortality. Vegeta accepted. As I took Vegeta back to my ship, I called for Dodoria to meet me alone. Dodoria walked up to me as Vegeta was right next to me. Dodoria says, what is he doing, sir? Do you want me to punish him? I began to laugh and say, well, I have a proposition. Vegeta's going to battle you to the death. And whoever wins gets that position. And becomes my right-hand man, fully. Dodoria looked confused. But I'm your right-hand man. Why would I battle him? Oh, oh, Dodoria. You become weak and submissive. It's time I get rid of you. Once and for all. For some reason, I began to enjoy this. I began to enjoy the suffering. As Vegeta fought Dodoria, Vidoria was losing and began to suffer. And I began to laugh. My evil nature began to fill my body. It turns out Frieza was rubbing off on me. And not in a good way. Dodoria was panicking. He could tell them the truth about what happened to Plant Vegeta, but I would just kill him anyway. He was desperate, so he decided to do it. He was crying and said, Vegeta, please don't kill me. I know the truth about your planet. I would look and say, Beerus made me destroy your planet. I didn't want to. That's why we need to get revenge on Beerus. Vegeta was shocked as then he thrusted his fist deep into Dodoria's chest and blew him out from the inside. As Vegeta looked at me and says, Is that true? Yes. Vegeta would then say, hmm, seems like we have a common enemy. But how would we ever at the Dragon Balls? It's the only way we could ever become strong enough to defeat Beerus. Vegeta would nod. As Adoria was dead, Vegeta would be my right-hand man. It would begin to go to Namek, but as we went to Namek, me and Vegeta would train together. It would take a week to reach to Namek, so we trained for three days straight. Vegeta's power level grew rapidly, and mine grew too. It grew far faster than Vegeta's, to say the least. And Vegeta would even teach me how to sense energy without a scouter. I would figure it would be best to teach my entire army this. That way we wouldn't rely on such technology. As the three days passed, I was confident that Vegeta could defeat Zarbon. So, I called Zarbon over here. And Zarbon was a bit disgusted with me replacing Adoria with Vegeta. But Vegeta was stronger. But at the same time, the Frieza force was never based on strength. True, Frieza had his most elite soldiers at the top, but it was based on loyalty above all else. However, Vegeta was not loyal. Zarbon knew this. Zarbon would look at us and say, what is it, Lord? I want you to fight Vegeta now, same way Dodoria did. Zarbon would look at me angry and say, Lord, why are you doing this? If he wins, you have a bigger threat. Oh, oh, oh. I know how to keep the... M I had to bite my tongue trying not to say monkey. I know how to keep him with me. Now, let the battle begin. Vegeta walked behind Zarbon. Then, they began to battle. But Zarbon was losing. As I said, Zarbon, go into your ugly transformation. Don't underestimate him. Zarbon would say, shut up. You're letting a monkey take my place? A monkey kill me after everything we've been through? Zarbon would then transform and say, how could you do this, Frieza? How could you? I simply looked at him and I began to smirk. I guess I just don't feel myself today. Ooh, 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 ooh. As I laughed, this laugh felt so exhilarating. It felt so good to watch Zarbon in pain. As Zarbon transformed and began to fight Vegeta with everything he had, it still wasn't enough. Zarbon was getting pushed further and further back. He would get on his knees and beg for his life. Please, please, Frieza, save me. Step in. I've been your right-hand man for so long. I know what to do. He won't know what to do. Please, please, please. But then, I shot a death beam straight through his skull, killing him. It's so annoying when they plead like that. It can be fun, but from your own subordinates, you expect more. <laughs> I As I continued the laugh, it seems that things are actually going pretty well. With Vegeta on my side, it seems that we can easily do this. And with my potential, there's no way he can surpass me. However, we're going to need Dende for the password. It would be easier just to go to Earth after they bring back the Dragon Balls. But let's make things more of a challenge. After all, let's mess up the Namek Saga a little bit. My humanity is almost entirely gone, but I still have some. Only a very few. Will that even show? I didn't know. But as a week passed, eventually our spaceship landed on Namek. And that's where we're going to leave things off. Hope you all enjoyed this video. 
The next series will be what if Anakin and Darth Vader were separate people. I've thought about doing Star Wars. I just haven't really watched Star Wars in a long time. So that's why I haven't been doing it. I kind of like lost touch of it because I kind of lost my Disney Plus. So I, that's why I kind of stopped doing Star Wars things. And I really haven't done a lot of them on this channel. But, you know, Darth Vader and Anakin, that's really about the prequels. And I know that. So I could probably do that. Yes, this guy can finally be happy. He suggests this on every series. I feel bad I haven't done it. Just know the next series after this, I'll do it. So, I hope you're happy. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the video down below. Peace out.